Hello and welcome to this training of assembly of climate clock. This is model number 15 and we are going to learn how to use a software to actually feed the countdown time in your climate clock. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for continuous updates. What we are going to do is following but before I do that I want to give a one information that normally the climate clock depends on what is the rate of carbon emission. It depends on carbon budget and rate of carbon emission and because carbon emission is dynamic, the actual climate clock countdown is synchronized with somewhere else where data of carbon emission is actually calculated and in the real time. Now that is that makes it little complicated, you need to connect it to some other data. What we have done in this climate clock assembly is we have made it very simple. Rather than having a real time data on carbon emission, we have assumed the fixed data and based on the current climate clock, how much time is left for a one and a half degree centigrade, it is about six and a half years. So based on that, what we have done is we have decided the timeline when it is going to click and that timeline is 22nd July 2029. So what we are going to do, we are going to use a software to feed this information in your climate clock so that the countdown starts. All right. So I hope this is clear. This countdown clock that we are going to make, it is not synchronized. So when the rate of carbon emission will be high and low, your climate clock speed will not change. But what you can do with the help of software, you can always change the time itself, right? So you can synchronize whenever you want and whenever there's a gap between what your clock is showing and what the real climate clock is showing, you can always synchronize with the help of software. What is this software? This software is called HD2020. It is publicly available as an open source. The link is given here right now. You can use this link, download with this link or uh, you can go to our portal and from there also download. So it's an open source software. Anybody can download it. So what you can do is download this software. Install on your laptop. You need a laptop with the Wi-Fi. So install this software on your laptop give all the permissions because permission is required. Once you install the software, then what you do is there is a lot of setting that goes in software. You can get the set of instruction which is there on our file. You can use the set of instruction and do your own programming. But for making it convenient for you and make it simple for everybody, what we have done is we have created a file. So what you can do is you can download this file from given this link or again you go to the portal and from there download. So download this file, the name of this file is ccdisplay.xml, cc is climate clock display. So download this file ccdisplay.xml on your computer, open this file with the software HD2020, open this file in your software HD2020. Once you open this file on the software, now every you say every setting is there. What you have to do is now you have to connect with the controller because you need to send this data the program to the controller of your climate clock. You have to switch on your Wi-Fi of the laptop and search for the Wi-Fi of the controller. The Wi-Fi of the controller, what is the name? It is WF1 hyphen and some numbers will be there. Okay. So you search for this WF1 and connect. When your Wi-Fi of the laptop is connected with the Wi-Fi of the controller, then what you need to do is simply send this data to the controller. As soon as the data goes to the controller, you are ready to go, you are good to go and you will see immediately that how the climate clock is now showing the countdown to 22nd July 2029 when the global temperature will touch to 1.5 degree centigrade as per the current rate of carbon emission. So there may be difference of few days here and there, you know, because we are not actually using the real time data of carbon emission. We are not synchronizing with somewhere else where the real time data is measured. So we are based on doing on the current rate of carbon emission and therefore in years time there can be delays of few days here and there. So you can always go to this software, change the time and then synchronize your clock. But this clock is very good enough, very simple, very cost effective so that every one of us can see the ticking time in front of us. Okay, right now, so do this process. I'm going to demonstrate you once you send this data to the clock, what happens. By any case, in case if there is any issue that what you do is 
once you go you are in a process of sending data and if anything get interrupted observe the info bar at the right side of the screen follow the red alerts resolve them and you are good to go all right so hope this will be done and it is simple so i'm going to show you how the data on the climate clock will look now